Well, if you know me, and you know my teachings, this may shock you. Today, I'm going to do the Money Draw Blessed Candle Mantra Ritual that works, but there's a secret to this that I'm going to share with you. We're going to actually do it today, and then I'm going to share the secret with you, and it absolutely, absolutely beyond the shadow of a doubt, works if you know the secret to this. You ready? We're going to do the money draw made when the moon is right. You ready? Let's go. on YouTube here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. I'm going to do some really cool stuff on my channel. So I hope you subscribe. Tell YouTube you want cool, fun stuff that's positive. You're never going to hear anything negative. Why? Because you are the creator, the creation, and the power behind it all. Because everything's one thing, so you must be all of these things. Which means we can do anything. Now, if you subscribe, I also want to plug my book, Break Through Fear, Your Spiritual Butt Kick. It talks about exactly how this works, and we're going to use it today. I have people reading this several times and saying it's changing their lives. You want to change yours today? Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. Helping you to break through those fears. Fears are barriers. Fear is a thought pattern that says, I'm afraid of what's going to happen or what may not happen or what has happened. That's a fear. All right? It's a block. It's a barrier. It's a belief. So, if you want money, we're going to do a money draw and I'm going to do this mantra. So, you might want to pause this video and get your candle ready. You need one candle. It can be any color. I, I like to use white or off-white. And preferably a wooden match. It can be another match, but I don't like anything with fuel in it or plastic. Alright, so we're going to do this ritual right now for money draw. I'm going to say this and you can repeat after me and then you have to hang in there with me for this secret I tell you of how this actually can absolutely work. You ready? Let's go. I open the path to wealth without end. The money I need, the universe will send. Bills will be paid. My coffers overflow. My worries released. My wealth will grow. My own blocks be they from spirit or mind, no longer hamper, no longer bind. Harming none and helping all is how it shall be. This I make true, three times three times three. You ready? Did you say it? Let's do it again. I open the path to wealth without end. The money I need, the universe will send. Bills will be paid. My coffers overflow. My worries released. My wealth will grow. 
my own blocks, be they from spirit or mind, no longer hamper, no longer bind. Harming none and helping all is how it shall be. This I make true. Three times three times three. Now we're going to discuss the secret. It's actually in this statement. My blocks, be they from spirit or mind, no longer hamper, no longer bind. Why do I keep pushing this? Because those thoughts that hamper and bind come from your fears, which create false beliefs. Well, they're real to you, which manifest. Every thought manifests. Guess what happens when you release all the barriers and thoughts, all of the beliefs that you are less than the creator of the universe that flows through everything, not you, the one person, all. All is the creator and the created and the intelligence behind it. When you know this, guess what you don't need? This. You don't need any of it because you're already doing it here. And the reason why this works, one reason, you believe it. You don't even have to say this. If you go into belief and you know that you hold this power and that any other thought that says you can't be this, do this, have that, is dictating your order to the universe, any thought like that, is just the thought that has to shift into a different thought. No mantra, no candle, no vision board does it. It's the belief behind it. You don't need anything. You know why all these other things that people do, voodoos and all that stuff work? Because there's a belief behind it and a power that's real. It manifests, but nothing can harm you. If you know you have a protection around you, and you can, you can do that at any point. But fear takes people in the space where they allow these things to happen, and they believe it. And so it is. Are you ready to go into belief? Because you hold that power, and it is amazing. And when you go into what I call the zone, if you're in my teachings, you guys, in here I have a brand new, spanking brand new, a series coming out. If you sign up for LandraEcca.com, go into my email list. I have a master class, free master class coming out, and I'm also and I also have five steps to shift in a completely new reality. And everything I do is to break through the beliefs that are keeping you here, and you want to be here, and you think there's some law that's going to attract it down. If a, the penthouse comes to the basement, it's not the penthouse anymore. You have to go to the penthouse. How do you do that? You can't keep thinking like this. you got to think up here. How do you do that? I'm going to tell you the secret to my teachings. Everything's based on this one thing. And from there, I take you step by step by step. If you don't master this one thing, nothing will change. You have to understand the root of the pain or the belief that's limiting you. See, we know what the belief, well, I know what my belief is. I don't think I can earn money. I, I can't be a millionaire. I know I, I don't really believe that. So I take you back here to what you were told or chose to believe and who told you that, and where they got it from, and where they got it from. So we don't analyze anything. We just locate the source of it. And when you locate the source of it, you can pull the gunk out of the faucet, the uh, drain, 
and the water starts to flow freely because now we know where it is and we pulled it out. We don't have to examine what it is, we just toss it out and say, okay, it is what it is. I don't have to believe it anymore because it wasn't really mine. It's just programming. Ah, now I know the source. That's right. My mom used to say this and this and oh, it's because her mom said that and her grandfather said that. And you realize, well, they were just programmed. So instead of being resentful, we send them light and you say, oh, I send you light. You didn't do it on purpose. You were just programmed. So there's never any blame or low frequencies involved in that. So we go into super high frequency. You want to go into a zone? Then you go in and you realize we're all just a product of something else. We are not to blame. The source doesn't make mistakes. Are you saying the source makes mistakes? Are you judging anyone? Oh, that person that is from source, that is source, is that a mistake? Well, if you judge it, you're saying it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. These things you do to the least of us, you do to me, said Christ. In other words, he or she and I are one. So whatever you do to that person that you're criticizing, that you're separating yourself from, you're doing to yourself. You can't imagine that. But when you go into oneness, read my book, you go into oneness, you realize every thought is creating. And the more I have that thought, the more I have that thought, it actually appears in the material world because we're dense. It takes longer for things to appear here, to materialize, thank goodness, because that's a mechanism that's purposeful. Because if every time I thought something nasty because we're here in unconsciousness, we'd have blown ourselves up by now. But we have a chance to redeem ourselves by shifting those thoughts into something amazing. You want this to be true? I know it. I know it. I just know it. And I don't have rules around that, when or how, because the universe is so much greater than this physical brain that tries to put logic on anything, or the ego that tries to control it. I just have to know that the, I am that very power that can create anything. But I'm here playing a role. Play that through. Of course, you have to be who you are in whatever you chose, that's the game. Do it well. Play it well, my friend. Did you like my little ritual? You can do it. But you can't do it unless you use the secret. Where's the block or the barrier that tells me that I need that to be happy and that there's something else that's going to grant it to me? Oh, now it's, now it's happening. No. Did I have a thought and believe it? It happened. Make sense? I know you know this. All right, come on over. Come on over. I got some good stuff coming. I'm shooting new videos right now for the whole series, and we're going to go to the next level because you're ready for it. These things that are happening in our world, I send light and love. Please pray. Prayer is powerful because we are one. And so instead of being angry, let's send light and love to those who are so ignorant that they're still in conflict and they think more conflict can solve the problem. When we have leaders who go in with solutions and find peaceful ways to make things happen, then we will know we are in the new earth. Do not support conflict. It will separate you, and guess what? No mantra will help you. Separation is the lowest form of density, of ego. It says that I'm not you, you are not me, you are not perfect and beautiful, and everyone is. Free videos. By the way, I've got something cool coming out. I'm going to show you how to figure out what you want to do with an online business. And it's going to be really good for our planet and you. i got some cool stuff coming out. I'm offering solutions, and so can you. And your choice right now can change the world and your own life. The only barriers that are in existence right now are the ones you're creating. You're that powerful. You can stop anything from coming to you with your disbelief, your negativity, your separation, or you can dissolve it. It's not an enemy. It's just an experience. 
Now I know what loss and anger is and separation. Wow, mind blowing. Because now I know what oneness is. Oh, it just became that much more beautiful. And now I can look at that and bless not only all others, but myself for even going into that space. Go easy on yourself because you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Get ready for my stuff coming over. I think you're going to like it. I love you. You're unconditionally loved. Namaste.